Well, check out all that smoke. Well, that's because they are setting the sugar cane on fire, so it's easier to cut. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Yeah. I know. This is probably too fast, but I've shown you this road, US 27, so many times before in my previous videos. I thought, how about Miami to Orlando in a minute and a half or so? <laughs> you see, we are by the Lake Okeechobee Levee in Cluston. This is 200 times normal speed, so we'll be there in no time. Yeah, even at this speed, it is still a pretty long drive, but less boring than the turnpike, for sure. We put gas here at our favorite gas station by Sebring. Doesn't it feel like we are hitting every single red light? <sighs> we are almost there. Well, I guess we're not. This last part here is kind of tedious because of all the traffic and all the traffic lights. Well, here we are, back in good old Lake Louisa State Park. I was here a couple of months ago and I liked it a lot. The campground is actually physically located very close to US 27, so I don't know what the deal is with this long, winding road. Perhaps so you feel more like you are somewhere remote in the wilderness. Well, more remote than it really is, I guess. Well, we are once again at Lake Louisa State Park here in Central Florida. Hmm, we might, we might go to downtown Disney or what's it called nowadays, Disney Springs. It's very peaceful. And the pull-through sites are pretty nice too. There's the lake. It's a Travato 59k. Such a beautiful lake, and they have cabins too. We entertain ourselves by watching some of these waves on the mirror-like lake surface. And there's Minetini. Wildlife. So beautiful. Okay, let's go. It's party time. Okay, a quick warning, the gate opens to the inside, so if you're here, be careful and don't get too close, like I did. We park right here at the state-of-the-art Lime Garage. Yeah, 
It is really nice to know when the parking spaces are beforehand, so you don't have to be driving around aimlessly until you find one. That's pretty cool. We descend in the town center area, which really is more like an upscale shopping mall with a bunch of dining options, like this one right here, called the Polite Pig. I like the fact that they have live music pretty much everywhere. Here's the paddlefish restaurant, like on an old riverboat, at this other area on an island called The Landing. Yes, it is very nice. All kinds of places where you can spend your money. Marimoto. That Marimoto guy certainly rings a bell. Well, actually, he is a famous chef. Hmm, fancy. We are actually looking for this new hidden speakeasy kind of place we heard about. What? There's Planet Hollywood and the Stargazer Bar. Little secret, we are lost. We're looking, for, we're looking for the speakeasy. Let's see if we can find it. Enzo's Hideaway. Well, I think this is it. Maybe we'll go to the Stargazer later. Oh. Oh, well, bummer. Next time. Apparently, today they're having some kind of soft opening. It's that new. It's, but I still want to check it out. Let me try to sneak in. Yeah, we're gonna end up at the Stargazer after all. They have some beer flights, but... Having the I-4 IPA and at least having a cider. And the musician is taking a break. Yep, it's a local brew from Orlando, the I-4 IPA. Very appropriate. And the musician is back. Mm, pulled pork sliders. This guy is good. You can tell he's classically trained. Let's continue walking around. Pretty cool, I just missed it, but he just recorded that guitar loop and now he's going to jam on top of it. It's very cool. I just realized the drummer is the one singing. Ah, anyways, let's continue. We are now in this area called West Side. 
Let's go into Bongo's Latin Cafe. Big party inside. It actually reminds me of a cruise ship. I have my customary mojito while we wait for some masitas de puerco. Right here at the bar. We didn't want to get a table and wait, you know, as they are doing a conga line. Uh, the folklore. Mojito is pretty good, by the way. And the masitas, which are fried pork chunks, are decent. Pretty cool looking, yet uncomfortable bar stools. I was going to have a Cuban coffee here, but uh, decided against it. Yeah, very lively music everywhere. Remember the House of Blues? I do. Let's continue exploring. Look for a place to have a nightcap, perhaps. The Edison. Oh gosh. <laughs> Here's a Jock Lindsay's hangar bar, located at a 1940s airplane hangar, a la Indiana Jones. Live free concert continues outside. Some ice cream. Yeah, we need a sugar rush, don't we? Mm, bon appetit! Oh, by the way, they also have this super cool ride on an amphibian car. I mean, we, we ought to do that sometime. it goes. It must be a pretty cool ride, although it doesn't go very fast, does it? Here's once again the T-Rex, where I hung out with Erico a few months back. I guess it is like the paleo version of the Rainforest Cafe. And that Lego store and these Legos have been here since forever. To infinity and beyond! And there's the Rainforest Cafe Volcano. I actually missed the big eruption, but I think that's where we're going next. Rainforest Cafe. We're not gonna go to the restaurant itself, but to the adjacent lava lounge. 
The entrance is through this very cool cave in the rainforest. No, I don't. There's a bar and there's room in the bar. Hmm, seems pretty cool. Okay, one last I4. I kind of like it. And the uh, chimichachas? Looks great! Okay, I think we've had enough fun for one night, don't you think? Hmm, the gator actually looks more real than a real gator. Can you believe that? That's where we were. In the morning, we decide to explore the rest of Lake Louisa State Park a little more. And yeah, the morning is not as pretty as the previous evening. It actually looks like it might rain. Lots of people doing exercise. This is the actual Lake Louisa. Full colors. Yeah, those other two lakes that I showed you before, where we're staying, are actually Hammond and Dixie Lake. Yeah, this is very interesting. Lake Louisa. Well, this is the actual Lake Louisa. Actually, although this lake is much larger, I like our smaller lakes much better. We depart towards our next destination. In some of these state parks, they do ask you to check out before you go. Our next destination, Crystal River. Homosasa, Wikiwachi, and Fort DeSoto. But I am going to show you that on the next video. Wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. sun came out. If you have enjoyed traveling with us, make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos. Also, share it with your friends, spread the word and leave me a comment. Now, if you really, really liked it, you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.